Hey, be a squid and subscribe to my mediocrity. How's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be doing some Warframe fashion frame. I've got some new stuff going, some attachments, color schemes, ideas, blah, blah, blah. So I, I figured it's been a while since I've done the uh, fashion frame. It's I've only done it once, but it was a long time ago, and the color schemes were kind of the same, like in terms of majority of it was like black and red and that sort of situation. So I decided to change it up and come up with a couple different color schemes for multiple Warframes to try and diversify it. But we're gonna go over all of it in one video so the the color schemes right there i know y'all get anal if the color scheme is not on the screen somebody will fucking lose their ass if i don't do that so we're gonna go ahead and kick this off with everyone's favorite starter pokemon excalibur wannabe prime we all we all will never experience the joys of owning excalibur prime so we're using the dex helmet and skin because it gives off that goldish look the, the very shiny look that a prime warframe would give not really any other skins give that look off so that the dex is really good for that we are also using the riv elite guard arms because these are once again the only things that give off that gold shiny look unfortunately on xbox we do not have access to a lot of the luxurious attachments that pc players have so riv elite guard is kind of the shiniest that we have i think the next best thing is what the umbra armor which is kind of like it's a bit too low key for me so i'm hoping digital extremes will come out with something a bit more shiny and for our sedana we are using the centuria sedana whatever uh it's it's okay i'm not a huge fan of it but i think it goes really well with the kind of like uh royal goldish look here so i think it's it's pretty good moving on to grendel the new fat boy in town i gotta be honest i've tried so many different things with this stupid warframe and nothing and i i legitimately mean this like nothing looks good on him there are things that look okay but for the most part it is just not he's he's just he's just too fat to look cool and I, I say that in a weird way because a lot of the attachments and sedanas they don't work with fat warframes so it just he just ends up looking goofy with whatever you put on him even i put like the biggish attachments on him and he's still too fat for them to look even remotely cool so i don't know i did what i could we got the blackish like it's not even really black it's more like a navy bluish with the red and then we've got the gold to kind of shine through for the eyes so you can definitely see the energy colors i definitely think the color scheme works i just wish that i had attachments and a sedana that kind of look better on him maybe you guys can leave some suggestions down below or whatever but i mean just grendel is not great all right now we're getting into some more interesting stuff here so i kind of showed this off i believe last time i did fashion frame but this is my purple gold inaro sort of situation it's more like a maybe rose gold possibly like copper i don't know bronze look i'm not really sure if it's gold or more bronze or copper but more or less it's pretty it's pretty good i really enjoy the purple i'm thinking about redoing it a little bit because i think it's a bit too purple but uh, I think the colors work. I think they just need to be rearranged possibly in a better manner to where it complements the purple more. But for the most part, this is my favorite Inaros color scheme that I've come up with so far. As for attachments, we're not running any attachments because I think his shoulders look fine the way they are, especially with this skin. So I think it works. And as for our Sedana, we are using the Sovereign Sedana, which uh, whenever you stare directly at it, it's fucking hideous. But at least when you're looking at it from the front, it looks pretty good. So we'll, we'll just don't uh, just don't look at it. All right, we're kind of getting into the last bit of the weaker color scheme for Warframes here. So this is Korra, my black and gold, kind of akin to Volt Prime. I really enjoy the black and gold personally. Uh, attachments, we're not really... I, I, I gotta be honest i take off the attachments i have i think they're goofy and they don't fit with her so i change those up to something a bit more i don't know fitting to her figure but just the kuva stuff does not look pretty on her at all and for our sedana we are running the naru sedana this is one of my favorite ones to use i actually use this on quite a bit of warframes i just really enjoy the mechanical wing sort of arc wing look uh i'm not sure it works with her but i i, I do like it. It, it it's okay I'll, I'll i'll leave it there but i do think there is better all right let's pop off with something sexy really quick so hydroid prime i teased this a little bit in my previous video where i was trying to get the twin roga and the czar i got the twin roga czar still 
still in the works, but for the most part, this is actually what I was going for, the kind of royal fleet looking uh, pirate guy. It's not really pirate if he's part of the royal fleet, let's, let's be real, that's not how that works. But this is one of my favorite color schemes, I think it looks fantastic. Now for attachments, we're just running the Kuva plate shoulders. I think the, these just go really well with the whole kind of like Admiral Royal Fleet-ish look. I think that this is just one of the better options in terms of putting an attachment on him because Xbox and just, you know, console in general is lacking in the attachment area. So I think the Kuva plate definitely works. And as for Sedona, we are using the Centuria Sedona again because it, it just, it has that royal look to it and it definitely shows with the gold and the red. It's, 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 mm, it's clean, boys. All right, I know I'm gonna get hate for it because it's just black and red and everybody uses it, but it looks cool. It is undeniable that it looks cool. So for this one, we are gonna use basically the regular Limbo Prime helmet, but, but, but we are using the regular Limbo skin. Why, you may ask? Because the Limbo Prime skin, I think is a little bit too extra. Too much red, not a huge fan of it. When you put on the regular Limbo skin, he's a, little bit, he's a bit more sleeker. I like the black. I, I like how that little philosopher stone right up in his fucking neck just sticks out. I think it works for sure, 100%. Lim limbo skin, I think is actually better than the Prime skin. But the helmet, for sure, is way better. Now for attachments, we are running the Prisma Neighborous attachments. I think these just look sick. I'm not necessarily sure they work for Limbo, especially with kind of how I have him with the Noble animation. I think we're gonna change it up to do like, I don't know, let's see here. Yeah, I think this looks a lot better. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this Limbo animation. Yeah, see, th 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 this gives him that kind of crazy guy look. So I think this is what we're going with. And then for our Sedona, we are using the Sovereign uh, one. I, I chose the red instead of black because I think he's already just as as black as he can get realistically so i think the red complements it a lot more so do what you want with the sedona but i would definitely went with the red look and surprise surprise we still have the coffee and cream limbo prime this is also one of my favorites not something you see on the reg for sure but definitely one of my personal favorites in terms of limbo prime i don't run any attachments any capes whatsoever i just like the clean look it's really good now i gotta hook up the trinity primes out there i know y'all are suffering with just options but this has got to be one of my the favorite ones that i've actually seen this is not my original creation i actually saw this and i just had to copy it because it was fucking fantastic i don't know who the original creator of it is because this thing was like posted eight different times in multiple forums so i thought this one looked absolutely dope they didn't leave the color scheme i had to figure it out myself but for the most part this is not my design but i definitely like it and i think that a lot of trinity primes are going to appreciate this look because it is absolutely sicko mode now on this one we're not running any attachments we're not running i don't believe any sedanas because um literally she's got this fucking booty for years so there is just there's no sedana that would actually look good except for the one that i have that i just noticed oh wow yeah i kind of forgot i was running this um i didn't even really fucking notice <laughs> It's that low key, but we're running this Sedona. So yeah, that's my bad. Now I believe I showed off Joker Vobin Prime last uh, last episode. I did a f fashion frame, so I'll show it off again just for the color schemes and whatnot. But uh, this is okay. It's not my favorite. I just did it because I thought it looked crazy and eccentric, and I really just wanted to be out there and d diversify myself. So we'll get to something a bit more interesting in a, here in a second. But just for the attachments, we're running this. The prisma stuff i don't really think it works on the legs for sure but the shoulders look all right you can change up to whatever you want but they look okay and as for our sedona we're using the whatever the hell that word is because i'm not even going to begin to try and pronounce that personally the sedona i'm not even a huge fan of because it just seems a bit too small and vobin is like he's very wide in the shoulder area so i think it looks a bit smaller but if you try and use like a caped sedona you have to use a specific one because he's too like like tech looky like if that makes any sense he looks like he's just made out of like armor plating and tech stuff so whenever you put like a like a sedona like this it just kind of doesn't look that good you have to pick something that has some kind of flashiness to it because it just it, that's just the way limbo not limbo vobin looks 
But moving on to the other scheme that I have for Vobin Prime, he is uh, very white with this kind of like, uh, it's not teal, I don't know what to really classify this color, but I, I really was trying to not go with some generic stuff. I wanted to step out of my comfort zone a little bit here, so we kind of went with this weird grayish teal color. This one is in the Barrel Kateer set, so if you guys want to get this color, it is in the Kateer set. Um, as far as the accent goes, I'm going to go to specifics here. We're using the ice colored, and we're all, we're way down here, just above those this white wall with this white tile, and that's the kind of the just of it here. I, I do like this look. It's very clean, sleek, uh, and whatnot, but overall, Vobin Prime is kind of fucking hard to do colors with. He's just so bulky, and he looks weird. Now, Volt Prime, I don't really mess with too much because I just, the black and gold looks great, but, but I did do a little bit of stalker your frame right now all right i went black and red i know once again not not anything innovating i get it but it looks cool i enjoy it figured i'd show it and that's what we're doing and we have another black and red for rhino prime but this time we've got the blue to offset the the red here so i think it looks decent you can change it whatever you want honestly just the red change that to whatever you want it, it works if you go like put the main colors as black and then you try and do an accent color with like purple or yellow or whatever it just works but for the most part i chose red because i just enjoyed the the look it, it, it just looks very clean this is one of the few warframes where you can kind of differ from black and red and get a little bit of blue in there or something else where it kind of actually works as for attachments we're using the provox shoulder guard and the prisma neighboris uh the kuva leg plates i feel Feel like are a bit much so i might remove those but overall a uh, majority of you that are doing fashion frame just 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 get like a fucking skin you just don't don't like his prime skin is so bulky like so I, I see a lot of people using rhino palatine and i'm like i don't really like this whole v thing it looks a bit goofy to me so i don't like it but blade of the lotus doesn't look too bad once again he's got that big bulky look up here uh his ion skin is not too bad either i kind of like the helmet a bit more but i don't necessarily know how I would even begin to design this there's not a lot of lighting on his chest and air and any other area so it's a bit uh too blank for me and his mastodon skin would be cool but uh this horn up here is just fucking ridiculous I'm I'm good on that and for our Sedona, we are running the Sovereign. It just, it, it, it looks good with everything. This is like the one Sedona that we have on console that just looks good with just about anything. Now we're breaking out the uh, gross boy here, Nidus. I, I, it's a bit hard to do Nidus because he's very fleshy looking. So it's kind of hard to design him in a way that makes sense. And it doesn't look like he's just has a huge erect peen, but that's like, it's 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 rough so the black and purple is kind of what i mainly roll with because it's what i was using before but i do have a secondary color scheme that I will, I will get to here in a second that i it might be my new favorite so once again where we are using the rivoli guard chest i think this just kind of adds that purple because he doesn't have a whole lot of purple on his chest and i wanted something to be there that would offset all of that black so i use the rivoli guard you can change that if you want uh, we've got the Provox shoulder guard, uh, pretty much he's a lanky looking character, so that's shoulder uh, guard, it just kind of really adds a little bit of bulk to him. Same thing with the Kuva plate on the right, I think it just adds a little bit of bulky because he's so lanky. And then we've got the Riv Elite guard on the legs, uh, once again, just where his shins are and where his feet are, there's not a lot of purple going on, which is why I put those there to kind of just give that look, but I think uh, I may have chose the wrong purple because it kind of looks a little weird. And and as for the Sedona, we are using the Sovereign once again. Like I said, it just goes with everything. Now for the secondary color scheme, this is actually something I was working on for a hot second. And I did see this on the forum and I was like, I, I tweaked it just to wear the way I like it. There was different attachments and I think it was the other skin, but uh, I, I saw this on the forum and I wanted to recreate it. And this one is, is one of my favorites that, I, that, I, that I've that I found. I, it looks absolutely fantastic. I like the orange, just kind of has that decent look to it. And then the black just goes really well in the middle. And then the white just kind of overlaps everything. Personally, the attachments kind of don't matter here. I think as long as you just kind of give him some decent looking uh, attachments that kind of have the same color that work, it, it, it'll, it'll look good. So I'm just going to get Sarn out of the way because I'm just, I, I, I could not figure out anything that works with her. She is so difficult, but 
yeah she's not it's just black and purple if there wasn't yeah it's not it <laughs> next now we have wannabe necros prime gundam frame but yeah i mean i tried to just recreate a gundam as best as i could with necros prime it just uh it didn't really go well he just kind of looks like a birthday cake that got fucked up so <laughs> uh, I, I i thought of that and i was like i i can't change it this is what i this is what i got if any of you copy this i i will be absolutely upset because this is not good so for attachments we're running actually something a little bit different we're running the porta shoulder pads and the same for the lake and we have the necros ekrala binds which is this, these kind of like chain looking things on his arms and to his back looks okay not a huge fan of them but they are okay and then for our Sedana, we we're using the Naru because I was once again going for that Gundam look and trying to just do anything to try and make it look good. And it just didn't happen. But don't worry, I'm not going to leave you guys without something sicko mode. So we got the Shroud helmet and the Prime look here. So if you do have Necros Prime, all of this is kind of just free without even having to pay any plat for this, honestly. You can get the Shroud helmet via whatever mission and then Necros Prime regular their skin just kind of works so it's kind of got this um uh, ben 10 sort of look going on it's got the black the white the green honestly what i did for this color scheme is i randomized it and then i saw the green and i'm like hey that looks cool and then i just threw black and white and i'm like is ben 10 baby now i don't have a lot going on here personally i don't think he needs much i think he looks cool just the way he is uh you can put whatever attachments you want but i kind of tried what i have and i was like eh, i like the way he looks so i'm just gonna leave it like that and for our sedana we have the sovereign once again should have seen that coming now moving on to one of my more favorite warframes and probably your favorite as well we got mesa prime so i've got a couple here for you uh this one is the, i was going for kind of a dead shot look is sort of from uh what what, uh, what is it arrow sort of situation i uh, it kind of came out okay i hate this helmet because the helmet looks dope but the ponytail thing in the back is just ass so I wish uh, that wasn't a thing but overall i think it's got this kind of skull look in the front and then you've got the little techie ip so it all just looks fantastic in my personal opinion now you can toggle prime details if you want to add that kind of extra bit more to it but personally i am not a fan of the chaps at all like legit the chaps are trash so yeah but if everything else was you know if it wasn't for the chaps i'd have these on all the time because i think it looks dope but the chaps just ruin it for me we're also not rocking any sedana because i think it just ruins her sleek look even these uh Pr prisma neighboris uh, attachments i'm not really a huge fan of them i wish i had something that went with her outfit a bit more but i don't want to leave her shoulders bare so i went with this because i felt like it was the best thing that i had that worked with her but i might remove them now i have a really crazy one that i saw on a, on a forum that i had to recreate so just drum roll please ba boom look at that tell me that is not sexified this is quite possibly one of my favorite color schemes that i have found i saw this on the forum and i was like yo i have to recreate this i, I i'm gonna try and find the original person of this to credit them but i just it, on the forums everybody just posts shit repeatedly and i just i never know who's the original poster so it's just such a pain in the ass anyway this is what i like to call magician mesa prime it is really really flashy really cool uh, i actually went and bought a sedana because i just think it needed it so much personally i might change the color because it's a bit too red for me but uh there, there's definitely better sedanas than this one but i thought on xbox this was the only one that worked but if you're on pc you'll have more options but for the most part this is god tier this is absolute god tier so the way we we replicated this is we use the mesa Presid Presid Pre 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 presidio skin which is the conquistador sort of looking thing uh, i tried with just regular mesa prime but um yeah i mean it's okay but i really wanted that kind of flashy elegant look which is the you know the presidio skin definitely gives that off a bit more than the prime the prime does not look bad by any means mind you so if you do have the prime skin 
it works but just if you want that elegant kind of magician sort of look this is a bit better and we're still using the regular mesa prime helmet uh you can use the falcon if you want but i just don't think it has the same flair to it and the presidio helmet uh it, though it looks okay and i'd argue it's better than the falcon it definitely just once again doesn't have the same flair that the prime helmet does and as for the Sedona, we are using the Rapala Sedona, which I think looks fantastic, honestly. It's just a bit too red for my taste, but there's nothing else that kind of has that magician cape look on Xbox that I want, so this is the best that I can do. Okay, now we've got Mirage Prime, which is one of my lesser favorite Warframes. I know she's really good, and I think she's good, and when I play her, I have fun. It's just, she's just not for me in my personal opinion but i do like her colors in the way like she's designed so she's like the harley quinn look so i think this is the black and by black it's more bluish navy blue once again uh and gold i think this looks good for the most part i left her just as bare bones as possible except for the sedona which is the scalpulus uh it's okay i don't think she needs it but definitely with her big bulky shoulders uh, i don't think any shoulder pads really work on her i gotta be honest eh? so i just left her the way she is and the blue and gold look really good now we have the actual harley quinn here so this is the the actual batman sort of situation going on i think it looks fantastic one of my favorites and i mean absolutely favorite uh, color schemes in terms of just characters um once again we left her pretty bare bones except for the scapula sedona but yeah that is a uh, harley quinn mirage prime now i know i showed off this frost prime last uh, episode of fashion frame it's one of my favorite designs for frost prime it's just that sexy gold black purple sort of look I, mm, it's fantastic so this is for the harka skin i think all of mine are for the harka skin because just regular frost prime is kind of bitch looking so he doesn't look great but we've got the Rivalite uh, set once again because it's just the only thing that exudes that gold look. And then for our chest piece, we have the ribbon, which it, it's yellowish, so it fits. I don't know. I thought the ribbon, the, the, the ribbon just kind of looked funny there, so I just put it on. But you can change that if you want. And as for Sedona, we left it absolutely blank because uh, if you put anything on him that, except this one, I guess. This one actually doesn't look that bad, but even still, I, I think he's too big for any Sedonas to look actually good on him. So I would just leave them bare. And then we've got our secondary Frost Prime, which is just kind of the Silver Surfer sort of look. I think it's just clean AF. Uh, I don't really care for the attachments or any of the Sedanas. I think just the little kind of like squirting, whatever the hell that is supposed to be, looks pretty good. But this is this is just pure white. If you want to make this, just literally white it up. And then for our last one is kind of this gold white sort of situation. I, I just kind of threw this together. I saw this on the forum and I thought it looked good. But then when I tried to recreate it, because once again, lack of color scheme. So... I tried to recreate it, but I don't think it quite hits the same, but it doesn't look bad. It just isn't the one that I like. Now, I don't know who this is for, but if you wanted a good Banshee Prime, black and red, not too bad. I kind of like it a lot. It's just one of those Warframes that has all those kind of lines and stuff on their body that definitely the the red will show and it looks really great we're using the soprana skin um and we are also using the uh, soprana attachment for the left shoulder pad and then we're using the portal legs and chest and and the other uh, shoulder it, it looks okay um it's not you know mind-blowing but i think it works for uh the, the skin that's there and as for the sedana we're using the jetpack saya whatever that is uh once again it just her, her body is more tech looking like kind of like Vobins, so you can't just throw on like a cloth thing it just doesn't look good and then for those of you that don't actually have a skin and you just have basic banshee prime i came up with this the white and purple i think it looks pretty clean uh i'm not an overly huge fan of this one i i, I think it's just maybe the color scheme needs to be tuned up a little bit but just the i think the white looks good but the purple you might need to mess around with it but i wanted to at least give people that didn't have an actual skin something to work with so that's the, this is an idea you can maybe expand upon now we have another goofy big warframe that just kind of is hard to design i just went with black and red because i just once again i could not figure out for the life of me how 
how to design this asshole. It was just a struggle to get him to look even remotely decent. So this is what I got. It's not great so by any means. It's not innovating, but it works. We've got the regular Prime skin and then the Telemon helmet. Uh, I don't necessarily know that I care about this helmet a whole lot. I kind of like the Grax helmet because you have that like painted face, but I think the Telemon helmet looks a little bit better because it's got those spikes around his neck. So that one might work. Also, if you want to get really goofy, you could use the Shikoro helmet, which kind of works actually. And then for attachments, we're running the same nonsense we've been running all this show. It's Provok and Kuva, this is the same big boy stuff. Sedana, once again, it is the Sovereign Sedana. So uh, yeah, it, it's just, it, Atlas is hard. Moving on to our last couple Warframes, we've got Chroma here, which I, I went for this kind of royal red and gold sort of look. This was the first one I experimented with whenever I was doing red and gold, and I thought it looked pretty good, which is why I tried it on a couple others, and it seemed to work out decently. Um, this one is not my favorite, mind you, but it works. I think the biggest issue for this one is like the emissive color. I had to find something that would give me that toxin that would still match the color scheme or else the middle part would be like a completely different color from everything else. So it wasn't easy. And we're not really rocking any kind of attachments or sedanas. It's just the chroma skin because chroma is, is dope. Then we've got our secondary color scheme, which is kind of this night looking sort of situation with chroma. I believe I showed this skin off as well last time. Uh, it's just it, it, it just looks good it's got that clean white clean gold the little kind of purplish going on it's one of my more favorite uh, color schemes for chroma now we've got excalibur umbra coming in which i believe is going to be our last one unless i think i have Ivar. actually never mind but it, it, it's going to be almost the last one anyway excalibur umbra we got the red we got the gold we got the white it's just clean it's just one of those uh prime wannabes once again but this looks more like a prime than the regular one so i think it works we're using the regular Umbra helmet with the Excalibur deck skin. I just think the deck skin looks really good. But if you want, you can use regular uh, Umbra. It, it's not as flashy, but it works. And as for our attachments, we're using the River Leech guard stuff. And just once again, it's the only stuff that's shiny. And we have the prime details on, but you can toggle them off and it looks just as cool, honestly. So if you want, I'd put a Sedana if you're going to toggle the prime details off. But if you're going to keep them on, then for sure, I don't think he needs a Sedana because the back uh, like kind of scarf just digs into the Sedanas and doesn't really work or look that good. And then now we've got more of the Soldier Excalibur Umbra. This one I tend to use more rifles on because I want him to look more like a soldier. Uh, I, I like how he has these kind of boots that aren't like ninja looking or whatever. So I wanted to make him resemble more of uh, like kind of an army type soldier situation. So I felt the black and red works really well. The Kuva uh, Elite Arms I think kind of gives off that like ranking and like look to, to the soldier type of situation but i was also messing around with a few others and by a few others i was the one other i think the provok shoulder also looks pretty good on him but i think the kuva is better because it just has this little dangly thing which i don't know why that speaks out to me but it, it, it's okay and you can toggle the prime details but uh it just doesn't have that same uh hard hitting soldier look it, it, it doesn't really work i thought i had ivara prime done whoops oh well i guess that'll give us something to do next episode so i'll have uh some looking around to do and trying to throw some ideas around in my head but anyway that was my entire catalog of my fashion frame uh interesting stuff i i like a lot of it so there were some war frames that i le left out like my wukong my valker and my regular atlas and the reason i left those out is because they're i don't i don't use them and also i haven't messed with their um their, their regular um, you know look anyway because they're just garbage to me so yeah they're, they're, they're pretty useless but anyway uh, i'll get more warframes and i'll do some more fashion frame for you guys and uh let me know your guys's fashion frame down below and um yeah i will talk to you guys in the next video Bye bye